pen and they laminated it. So we have hard copy. Uh, so we're going to read their letter with some additions. Uh, and this is dated uh, Thanksgiving Eve, November 24th, 2010. That uh, is. Thank you for sharing. Uh, dear, whatever. <laughs> See the abuse I take here in the morning. I need a hug. I would punch you in the shoulder, but you would probably punch me in the face. So there's a good likelihood. <laughs> uh, dear Kirk and Jamie, first, this is in reply to your request of a letter writing campaign to your morning show for announcements of stuff from the guests on board this cruise. And you're going to regret your request for longer notes than those written on bar napkins because I'm incapable of writing short notes. One of my very few flaws is the inability to keep it short. I tend to go on and on and on and on. Well, as you can see by the two right. full pages, full pages single spaced, uh, laminated. Uh, kind of a psych uh, physical, psychological abnormality I call diarrhea fingers. <laughs> That's awesome in the morning. Uh, I just keep going on and on, like you've already said, until I'm totally dehydrated. Huh. Also, also, you should know that spelling is not my forte. Do you remember that? Yes, uh, for. That's funny. Okay. Uh, okay, enough of this. On Thursday, November uh, 25th, we'll be celebrating our 30th wedding anniversary, and we'll be going on the uh, Wyndham excursion. That's a great uh, tour in, uh, in Nassau. Nassau. Or, or uh, Nassau. Yeah, the uh, Wyndham Beach break. Uh, it's the uh, all inclusive. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All we went there. We went a couple times. Uh, on this, oh, sorry. Uh, <clears throat> and we'll be back in time for our 715 reservation at David's, uh, David's Steakhouse, which is the steakhouse on the Pride. On this special day, we have vowed to privately renew, not repeat, our wedding vows. We assume that we promised each other the first time, uh, what we promised to each other the first time still holds true. The new vows are to confirm our dedication and commitment to not only to love, honor, and cherish, but to continue to put up with each other's annoying, <laughs> never, never nerve-wracking, irritable, disgusting, annoying habits and actions until insanity do us part. Yeah, I can hear you on that one. We'll be easy to spot at Dave's that evening as we'll be uh, decked out in our new white polo shirts advertising the event. See, they do shirts for everything. I guess so. <laughs> uh, my wife will be the blonde you had your picture taken with her after the veterans, uh, veteran cruisers get together, and I will be the tall, thankful turkey who's been... Uh, pardoned by her year after year. Uh, what? That's, that's weird. Because of Kirk's and... Uh, yeah, I know. Because of... Yeah, yeah, I got it. Uh, because of Kirk's and our long relationship consisting of many nanoseconds. Note a nanosecond equals 1.0 times 10 minus 9 seconds. Uh, any of the ship's engineering personnel can explain this to you. <laughs> I, I now, nah, I went to public school. Uh... uh, uh we have spent together discussing virtually nothing at all. I have enclosed the promised picture as a comparison of your looks to our... Oh, that's right. I look just I like remember. I look just like their nephew, Brian, apparently. Note, this photo does not do justice to one of you. <laughs> Weird. Uh, one of you would have to get older or younger, and one of you would have to lose some pounds or gain some pounds. I'm not exactly sure of that. Uh, but after 30 years of being around Brian, I would swear that you two could pass as twins or brothers. You, your looks, mannerisms, and personality are almost hauntingly equal to Brian's. Fortunately, in your favor, your on stage and public presence has a much higher marketable value than it is. <laughs> Thank you very much, I think. Uh, I believe that if you and he were to swap jobs, Brian travels the East Coast selling timeshare vacation properties, very few people would be able to notice the swap. And if you were the, to cruise on the same ship when you were the cruise director, he'd be mistaken for you. Hope you enjoyed the enclosed picture. If you don't see the resemblance, ask around and see if anyone else does. I think we did that, and, yeah. and nobody, nobody saw it. <laughs> Uh, if no one else does, then you can always use this letter to blackmail us by threatening to turn it all over to Brian. <laughs> Kirk and I will always cherish the time we had together, all less than a second of it. However, the never-ending looping broadcast of the morning show makes me feel like we're old buddies. Aww. Caution, this was written prior to sunup on the fourth day of the cruise, so my views and comments are subject to, subject to change without notice. It's very funny. Warning, after my wife read this, she has affirmed that she presently disavows any knowledge of the above and will neither confirm nor deny she knows anything about it or me, and will swear to the Almighty that she doesn't know me. What she doesn't know is that I have her room key and her sale and sign account is on my credit card, and we'll see how long that lasts. Yes, Steven. Uh, that's with respect and admiration from Stephen and Bonnie. Um, and then, uh, reference to your on-air comment about relative location. Relative bearing definition on the ship. Relative bearing is when the bow of the ship is considered to be... Wow, this is way too much for me this morning. Relative bearing is relative. So if a person uses relative bearing, that which... Something about buttocks facing south. La, 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 la. Something, about, something about my rear end and my aft ass. Uh, interesting. Stephen Bonnie. Great to see you again. It was great to see you. And, and while uh, it was all here, I got nothing. 
<laughs> but it's great to see you. Thank you so much for the shirts and welcome back. It's always great to uh, welcome past guests back and, and moreover, uh, people that we got to know uh, on, on previous cruises. It's always nice to keep the relationship up. So thank you guys so much for bringing us the shirts and the letter again. Can you try and bring that on the next cruise so that we can go three years in a row with the same letter? No. <laughs> Oh, wow, that was almost a disaster. That could have been bad. That would have been bad. Uh, hey, look, Kirk, you dislocated your shoulder, ripped your rotator cuff, and then poured hot coffee all over you. Oh, hey, it's not your day, is it? Boy, hey. Here's a really long one as well. This one says, happy birthday, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad, Siobhan, Shion, Dina, and Sasha. That is a long letter. Happy birthday. Uh, who's that for? Who's it for? That's my mom. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to your mom. Happy birthday to you. And then he wants. He's stepped in it this time. Why? I'm just going to fuzzy copy. Yeah. I'm just going to send it to. I'm just going to put a note on Thanks for acknowledging us. But here, here's a clear. Here's a one you might understand. Dear Kirk and 